Hey everybody, Rick's here. What I thought I would do in this video is we're going to talk about uh, smearing. When you're making a transfer, uh, if you have any kind of smearing, what could that be and how might we prevent it? Now, a problem you might come up with when you are doing a transfer is that you may end up with some smearing of the image. And there is a very logical reason on how that could happen. This is the Ricks Can Do It Quick Transfer Paper. Now I know that in almost every one of my videos, somebody writes in the comments and they'll say something like, hey, what kind of paper is that? Is that regular paper? Can I use any kind of paper? Can I use inkjet? All right, so I'm gonna start this video like maybe I should have started every of them. And that is, no, this is not regular paper. This is a specially coated paper. It started off as regular laser printer paper. It's 25% cotton bond. It's a more expensive paper. It has cotton in it. And you can buy this at the store. As a matter of fact, it's, it's called a Southworth. So let's see, a Southworth uh, diamond white or something like that. It's Usually it has a woven finish to it, okay? But if you buy that paper, that's just regular paper. You print on it. But as far as doing transfers, like what this paper will do, it's not going to happen, okay? Because what I've done is I've taken that paper and I've transformed it. This is coated. It has a coating on it, an invisible coating that's soaked into the paper, which it allows after being glued, it allows it to be peeled off like butter, leaving the image behind. If you use regular paper and you glue it onto a surface, then you're going to end up having to wet and rub it, wet and rub it, wet and rub it and make a mess and it's really a hassle and that's why I don't like that method and why a lot of other people apparently don't like that method either, considering that it's hard for me to keep this paper on the shelves. Each one of these are handmade, handmade, and they're made to order, which makes it very difficult for me to, you know, ship out thousands of sheets at a time, and why sometimes we have to close down the website, because usually around the holidays, is because it's hard to keep up with uh, all the requests. So I hope that answers that question that this paper is a handmade paper, specially coated, and so it is not just regular old paper that's untreated. This is treated paper. And not only that, but people also say, hey, um, do you have any dealers in this country or dealers in this country? Where, where can we find it where we live, whatever? No, I, it's only available, this particular paper is only available from my website, from me, where I make it here in my residence. <laughs> I have no manufacturing facility whatsoever. I invented this paper for my own personal use, but then, you know, it was like, hey, you know, I made it available to others and it's been incredible. I didn't realize so many people really, uh, really want this kind of paper. So it's kept me busy now for a year and a half just making paper and everything. And, and of course it has taken away from doing other things like making videos. But anyway, I'm ranting. Now the other thing that comes up a lot is can I use an inkjet printer? The standard answer is no. This is laser printer only, please. Laser printer only. However, Stick to the end of this video because 
I am going to test a possible way of using inkjet even though I'm not going to advertise inkjet for this paper but if you watch this video and if it works out because I haven't tested it yet I'm going to test it on this video at the very end there's something that might work to allow for inkjet transfers using this paper so stick around to the end all right now as you can see I've printed two images on this paper with a laser jet and they're the same image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half here and I'll tell you why in a second now one thing that can happen that can cause smearing and why I don't suggest putting gel medium right on the image itself but instead to put it on the wood surface or whatever surface you're putting it on is because this paper it is, is moisture activated and if you get it wet okay this is going to start to to smear this is going to start to move around you know so what makes it releasable is also what makes it move around on the actual paper itself and you don't want that to happen so that's why we don't put the gel medium on the image we put it on the substrate and we'll, we'll be doing that shortly here all right not only that but if you put too much if you put too much gel medium on your substrate okay and then you put this on top and then it's going to slide around a little bit because you got too much gel on here okay and it's too wet that too can cause some areas to smear so you want to avoid that don't go too heavy with the gel so let's do this first let's go ahead and do our first transfer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my finger because that way it allows me to feel how much gel I have on here but what you want is just enough gel that it's moist and fully covered and you don't have little hard bits or anything on here but you want to make sure that you don't have any dry areas or sticky areas because if it's dry or sticky you're not going to get a transfer and I got a hard bit here I got to get rid of that's the only thing I like about gel medium or anything else is that it, after it sits around for a while you get these little hard bits and that can get in the way of your image. So you want to put on just now I'm covering more area than the image itself because I didn't draw out where the image is going to go so I'm going to end up with with kind of covering more of it. But you just want it thin enough you want it thin enough no excess so that it's that it's moist you want it moist you don't want it sticky that means it's dried already okay you want it still moist but you don't want it sopping wet so find that medium no pun intended but find that middle middle ground so that you just have enough that it's wet and fully covered but not so thick that it just sloshes around and then you want to be careful when you put your image on okay it looks like I didn't do full coverage so part of this image is not going to be on here but that's okay we'll be able to test it nonetheless but kind of gently press on here like so okay and be careful don't slide it around all right and then I'm going to put a plastic cover over this like so just so that I got separation between the brayer and the paper in case you get any ooze out I don't want to go over the, the back of the paper and if you got too much see if I got too much gel already and I'm going to like press it out okay if you got too much you risk smearing now hopefully this didn't move around at all so that it's going to come out just fine. Oh 
Okay, and this is the regular way of doing a transfer with this paper. Now I can see there's areas where I'm not going to get a transfer because I did not have gel medium on there, but that's okay. We're only going to be concerned about the area that has the medium. But that's the normal way. All right, I'm going to put this off to the side here, let it dry. Usually I'm going to use a heat gun or a hair dryer for three, four minutes, and I'm already done. But I'm going to move on to this next one here. And so we can go ahead and just let that sit there and just dry on its own. Now, what are we going to do different with this one? What we're going to do is we're going to use, I'm going to use this, what do they call it, Kamar varnish. And you can use, you know, the clear acrylic. I just don't know where mine is, but this one's just fine because I, I happen to have used it before for uh, sealing, which you can seal with this after you're done if you wanna, if you wanna seal your work. Uh, that's how you would do it. But what you do with this is you just kind of give it a light coat. Don't soak it. Give it a really light spray. And that's it. Stop right there. That was nothing. Okay. And so I've given this just this very light spray. And I'm going to let that dry. Okay. Now what this is going to do is that it's going to have this clear coat over it now. And when I apply the gel medium, I can apply it right on the image rather than on the substrate and it won't smear it because it's got a coating over it. Yet it will not affect the paper releasing because that's underneath the image. You print it on top of it. You see what I'm getting at here? Perfect. All right, so let's let that dry for a second here or actually I'll speed it up with this heat gun. So we don't have to wait too long and if you do a light spray it's going to take no time at all matter of fact it's already dry that took no time at all now check this out what i'm going to do let me cut this down i don't need this much paper on here for those of you who have asked me hey can i just put the gel medium right on the the image itself and, and I usually say well you don't want to do that because you'll smear it well this was my this is a solution that I figured out is give it a light spray of clear coat now it should be protected okay so take your gel medium and just kind of spread it on top of your image and it should not smear as you can see it's still intact I don't see any bleed from the colors or anything. That's a good sign. Everything's good so far. But now you can just coat onto the image itself and make sure you got full coverage. Just like that. Voila. Okay. Now, now apply it to whatever it is. Glass, wood, ceramic, doesn't matter. But now you can apply it to whatever you want. Just press it down. I'm going to take my plastic here and press it. Okay, and then I'm going to take that off and give it a better press here. I noticed using this, it, it has these ridges on here. I got to clean this plastic off and it puts the ridges on my paper. So I got to come back here and get those ridges off of there. So it, you want good, good contact. Okay, 100% contact. There we go. All right, and let's let that dry for a second because now, yeah, I better get this taken care of before I use it again. Here's what I want to show you guys. Check this out. Here is the same image 
And it, it's a little bit of a different color because this was actually printed with my, my inkjet printer. Gosh, what, what was I calling it? My inkjet printer. This is what I printed, inkjet. And it's got some banding on here, but otherwise it looks pretty decent. And this, this is usually a no-no because the ink, when you put ink onto this paper, it disturbs the coating on here and then it doesn't allow it to peel and the image is faded. That's why I don't like using the inkjet. And I'm using pigment inks, but you can use dye inks. It doesn't really matter. But the thing is, is yes, I printed using an inkjet printer on my laser printer paper. But what I did was I actually used this Camar varnish and I put a light coat on the paper first, let it dry and then print it. Okay. That's what I did. The first time I tried this, look what happened to the, the image. It got really, really weird and, and, and the, the pattern broke apart. So this is, this is terrible. So I would avoid spraying after you've printed. But remember, you take the paper, give it a light spray, not a heavy spray. I gave this a heavy spray up front. You can see it has a shine to it. And it when I printed, it, did, it didn't look as bad as this, but it still looked way worse than this. So it has to be a very, very light spray. I mean, it's like boom, be done with it. Okay, and from a distance, don't go right up to it. But it did successfully print on top of this clear coat. Now the question is, will it transfer or will it stick to the substrate? Let's see if, if that light spray was enough protection. I don't know because I have not tested this. You're going to see this the same time I am. And what are we going to learn? We're going to learn either this will work as a way of using an inkjet printer with this paper. For those of you who are like, oh, I don't have a laser. I wish I had a, you know, I have an inkjet. I wish we could use the paper, but you know, you really shouldn't because you know, it's not made for inkjet. It may be an answer or it may reaffirm, do not use an inkjet printer. All right, so we're gonna learn one way or the other together, me and you, all right? I don't know if this is going to work. I saved this experiment for this video because this video is about doing experiments, right? Absolutely. All right, so I'm not going to apply gel medium on here because I don't, I don't trust not smearing that. So I'm going to put it on the substrate, which is the normal way to do it, the usual way to do it. All right, and we're going to just cover it. I'm going to try to do the best rectangle I can on here. And same rules. Don't use so much that it's sopping wet. Okay. You just want a nice thin, but yet still moist layer. Okay. I got to stay in the camera here. Keep forgetting. Sorry. I apologize if it went off. All right. So just make sure that you do this fast enough so that it doesn't end up with dry areas and then you don't, you end up with spots that don't transfer. Okay. So then this is the laser printer one. I mean, sorry, this is the inkjet printer one. All right. And I'm going to just do this like so. Now this would be great if it works, but if it doesn't, well, at least we tried. We tried. All right. Make sure I have no air bubbles and full contact. Sometimes when you do this, you might see it start to lift. And if that happens, you want to press it back down until it stays down. Okay, 
there we go. Let me seal this up so that I don't get too many hard bits here. There we go. All right. Now let's get these things dried so we can test them. Okay. are dry now this one sat out for a little bit so I so I didn't give it as much heat as these two because these are more fresh so let me move the uh, inkjet printer away for now we're gonna do that last all right these are the two that we did from the same sheet same image cut in half one of them I sprayed the paper with the Kmar or Kamar or whatever varnish very lightly just just sprayed a nice light coat and I was able to add the gel medium on top of the image itself before applying it without smearing it now we'll see if the image is smeared or if it's nice this one we did it just standard way we just put the gel medium on the substrate as thin as we can then we're going to we put this image on top and hopefully we're dry so let's go ahead and peel our base here our our uh, first one first let me check to make sure this is dry if i can peel this off without moisture it's not dry that's the thing but i well it looks like it's going to come off Oh, there we go. Okay, so let me dry it. If it's glued on, it shouldn't just come off by itself like that if it's dry. So I want to make sure this is completely dry. All right, nice and hot. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of moisture, just some water on a sponge sponge uh, stick here, sponge brush. I always start to say sponge bob, but sponge brush. Okay, and all you really, make sure you have a nice clean paper towel with you dry. Now we're just going to put a light coat of moisture on the back, like so. What we want to do is just make sure that it soaks into the paper. Usually you can start seeing the image start poking through. Okay, so just make sure it soaks up that water. All right. And then take off the excess by just laying a paper towel on it and just go like this. You don't need excess water, you just need it moist. Now we're going to go ahead and peel. And this should just basically peel right off like so. Now this is the part that we did not glue down. I told you that, that I didn't get glue on there. So if you ever see anything left on your paper, that's the parts that were not glued and pressed to your substrate. So that's how you troubleshoot. Remember, if it's glued to here, it's not going to be left on here. That's very simple, common sense. All right. So everything else has been removed. Now... This board was already dirty, but here you go. You can see that it transferred. And upon examination, I don't see any smears. So that's fine. Again, this is a used board. It already had, it already had junk and stuff that was on it. I'm trying to reuse some of these boards. You know, they, they have images already on the other side. So anyway, but there you go. Now, how about this one right here where we actually put the the gel on the paper on the image first and then applied it i'm going to make sure that it's nice and dry all right so let's see if there was any adverse effects from doing that i believe it's dry i hope it's dry 
think the paper, yeah, the paper feels like it's glued on. I can't peel it off. Good. So it's ready to be released with moisture. So we're going to do this. And let's hope once we put moisture on it that we can release it. Otherwise, it would be a fail for us and not a solution. So, soak that water in there. Okay, now let me get another clean paper towel here. Take up the excess. All right, let's see how this one did. Is it gonna come off? Actually it is. Take a look at this. Okay, there is some parts being left behind, but we can peel that off really easy. So I'm gonna use some moisture just to make sure that it's gonna release. But it seems to work and no smearing. Okay, we're going to dab off the excess. Let me see if I can catch an edge of the paper. You can see that just peels off and that just peels off. So simple. All right, let's get that all off. Get the excess glue off on the edge there. Okay, this will help me peel off any excess there. Okay. So take a look at that. See? I came out in great shape. No missing parts. Just got some glue on the end I want to get off, but other than that, a little cleanup. On aisle five, I hate excess glue. That's why you don't want to put too much. Look at that though. Isn't that great? Hey, look at that. Okay, so that is a great idea if you want to put the gel on the image itself before you put it on somewhere. You can do that. Just make sure that you give it a very light, very light. Don't get heavy on this because it'll look funky or some other weird thing might happen. I don't know. All right. Now, if you stuck to the end, you're going to see if this inkjet printer idea is going to work. So far, we've had one success with this, and that is to allow gel medium to be put right on the image itself. And it assures you'll have no smearing whatsoever in case you're a little heavy handed with that gel medium. All right, so now let's, let's try this little puppy here. Let's see, is it stuck on there? Yeah, so it's glued. That's what you wanna make sure that it's really dried and glued on there. And this is what's gonna happen with regular paper. You're not gonna be able to remove the paper. And that's how you can tell whether you could do a transfer onto that surface. If you can glue regular paper where it doesn't come off, then this paper will transfer images onto that surface. That's how you test it. But to release it, we use moisture, which will not release regular paper. It has to be treated paper like this one. All right. So let's soak that in. Let's see if we can do an inkjet. Wouldn't that be awesome if inkjet will work? I'm really excited about this. I'm, I'm not too, like, if you were going to say how confident I am, I'm 50-50. <laughs> I don't really know if this is going to work, but if it does, I'm going to be excited. All right, here we go. Clean paper towel. Let's take off the excess. All right, here it goes. Will it work? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at 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 
Wow. Wow. Look at folks. Those of you who have inkjet printers, I have hope for you. All right? But I'm not going to advertise inkjet printing. I'm going to say laser only. But if you watch this video and you want to chance it, there you go. Look at, wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's inkjet, people. Inkjet. Do I sound excited? I am excited. That is awesome. Look. It all came off. It came off. 100% transfer with an inkjet. So again, as a recap, let me explain what I did. I took my transfer paper. So you take this out of the package, okay? Now, one side says print on the other side, but I'm only doing a demo here, so don't worry about this because I already printed on this one. But you take the paper, okay? Take this. Kmar varnish and you want to be really light really light with this. Let me show you how light in case you're curious Okay ah. Now watch this is how quick and light don't go any more than this That's it stop that's it Okay, I got a little carried away on the other side here and you'll see that's what happened when I printed with an inkjet and then I sprayed on top of it and even made it worse. But what happens is the is if you spray it too much, then the ink just pulls on top of this. It just pulls like little beads and you get no image, right? Okay, but if you just do it really light, just just enough that you know you've you've got coverage on here, then you can print on it and it will print normal. Hello everybody. Well, I'm sorry for the abrupt ending here, but unfortunately I messed up on the last part of my filming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and conclude this video right here. Uh, I hope you see now that you can avoid smearing by simply just using enough of the gel so that it's moist and not just sopping wet and also, the experiment on using an inkjet printer. Now, again, I'm not going to recommend inkjet printing. However, if you want to do it, you want to try it, you do so at your own risk. I can't guarantee it, support it, or anything like that. But as uh, experimented in this video, I am so pumped that it worked and that there are solutions to allow printing, whether it be laser or inkjet. So how awesome is that? Anyway, thanks again for watching my video. Again, remember, if you want this paper, it's only at my website. Uh, and, and I don't have any stores or anything like that anywhere around the world. So I always get that question. I don't know why. It's, I usually think I say that it's only at my website. But anyway, hey. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I sure would appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell so that you will be informed of my upcoming videos. And a like would be like totally awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.